what did you do to to make that to try to, to create that magic between them? You know, to be honest, um, it's a great thing about these guys are you know professionals. Obviously, Jacob had never been anything before, but he's a professional, and Matthew really was a professional. He kind of made it his business, um, and not just Matthew, but every week, you know, these guys had a new adult actor to work with. Matthew actually didn't come till the second half of the shoot, so the first week up we had Reese, um, which I even got nervous around. And, uh, and then, you know, you have Ray McKinnon coming in, and Sarah Paulson, and Michael Shannon. So, I mean, these guys had like acting 101 in the first three weeks of the movie. You know, McConaughey has said it several times that his character in the film doesn't look down at these boys. He's not telling them this is what you have to do or this is how love goes. He's just telling them how he feels and really treating them like equals. And I, th I think that kind of permeated the professional relationship too, you know, uh, at least from my perspective. And there are fierce powers at work in the world, boys. Good, evil, poor luck, best luck. As men, we gotta take advantage where we can. And Matthew has a very interesting thing. He goes, mm -hmm, and he clears his well, he voice. Makes all these weird, he weird makes noises. weird noises. <laughs> and when they weren't laughing at it, I actually heard Ty one day go, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think they were learning. You know, I think they were getting. Um, I think they were getting the most they could out of out of these professionals. You know, this movie was supposed to have a, a different feeling than, than my last film, Take Shelter, and even my first film, Shotgun Stories, which are very dark films and very serious films. This was supposed to have a levity to it uh, that's about kids. It's a world where a boat in a tree is possible. How did you learn and what did you have to go through to learn to take a punch, to ride the bike, all the things you had to do? Um, well, I mean, the stunts were a different thing, but as far as like being in the outdoors and and working with those boat motors and dirt the bikes. bikes and the boats came pretty natural to both yeah, of us. Yeah, because, I mean, we've both been around yeah. that since we were growing up. <laughs> yeah. Say it. <laughs> we can't talk as long as you can. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a learned <laughs> skill. <laughs> These guys came fully intact. I mean, you race dirt track cars. I asked him what he did with his money, and he just bought a motor for his car. It's all gone now. It's a waste. Get that, get that college fund. Could have rethought And, that. I mean, when I went to visit him at his house, he had a dirt bike. You know, they both fish. They both hunt. Um, these are not some weird, affected Hollywood <laughs> child star that I had to say, okay, today's your dirt bike riding lesson. Um, I mean, they both run boats better than I do. Can I tell this one anecdote? <laughs> I don't know if we have time for it. Sure. Um, so the first day of filming, uh, there's a scene where McConaughey is holding his somewhat lifeless body after that. Anyway, and uh, and you're driving the boat, and he's supposed to run this boat up on the shore. McConaughey jumps out, gets on a dirt bike, goes away. Well, so on the first take, uh, this was McConaughey's first day of filming. Um, Jacob's running the boat in, and there's trees on either side of him. And he just kind of runs in real slow and it just barely hits and like kind of gets off. And I was talking to Matthew, he's like, yeah, we got to get that boat in there faster. Yeah, it's got to go in there Y'all told me it would go. So we said, all right, Jacob, just hit it. And the next take, the boat lifts out of the water <laughs> and goes maybe about 15 hold, feet. Hold almost on. hits the camera. <laughs> yeah, he was backing up. <laughs> Y'all told me it, I could was, go as fast as that boat would go and it would not come out of the water. I went as fast as it we came out of the water. Yeah. <laughs> but the best part of the story, you know, I have headphones on so I can hear their mics. They were mic'd wirelessly. And I hear Jacob talking after him. He goes, man, my aunt would kill me if she knew I hurt Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> <laughs> and he's telling this to Matthew McConaughey. He asked, he asked while well, I was nervous. He asked I was nervous. <laughs> I would have been upset had you killed Matthew McConaughey. <laughs>